That's right. The board members say that Marcos Lopez has not made a long term commitment to keeping a school resource officer on every campus. And that's something they were hoping would change as a result of what happened in Texas. As parents and students in Osceola County say goodbye to the outgoing school year, board members worry about keeping kids in their 67 schools safe in the future. Vice Chairman Julius Melendez says Sheriff Marcos Lopez has hinted at removing school resource officers from elementary schools and replacing them with school guardians. And as you can see, the unfortunate incident at Texas happened at an elementary school. So elementary schools, high schools, middle schools, there is no evidence that one is more susceptible to others from outside external violence. Melendez offered a three-year contract with the Sheriff's Department to keep one SRO on each campus, but says Lopez only agreed to a one-year deal for this school year. In a statement, Sheriff Lopez didn't comment on future plans for the district, but noted what he's doing now in wake of the Texas massacre, saying in part, rest assured that we have activated a reservist and are monitoring social media for any threats in schools, and we provided extra patrols around the immediate areas in the schools in Osceola County. According to Melendez, the sheriff's office receives a combined $7 million between county commissioners and the school board to subsidize the SRO program. It's extremely frustrating because elementary school students not only need or deserve the same level of protection as a high school student, but they're also much more impressionable. And parents we talk with agree. So I think, I believe, yes, that officers, everybody, whether it's elementary or middle school or high school, it is very important for security and police officers to be in present. Now, we do know that Sheriff Lopez did renew his contract with the school district for the upcoming school year. Now, because the school board has to revisit this issue every year, they're now considering even possibly creating their own law enforcement department specifically for the school district.